Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Master Switch Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the best selling designs on every single print on demand website. This is the retro vintage sunset design. In case you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen, seen these designs anywhere, here are some of the examples that I think are really cool. The good thing about this design and it can, it can be used with every single niche and it has been getting consistent sales throughout the time I have been on print on demand. So without wasting any more time, we'll get on right with the video. So today I'm going to be making this design in Photoshop. Um, usually when I'm working with a new design, I always start uh, with the Merge by Amazon template. If you don't know what that is or if you've never used the Merge by Amazon template, I'm going to be putting a link in the description below with a video of me explaining how to use the Merge by Amazon templates. Go check the video out if you don't know how to use a template. If you do, continue watching and I'll show you how to make that vintage retro uh, design. So we're going to be starting with a blank canvas. So initially what you want to do is grab the rectangle tool over here and make a normal rectangle. doesn't really matter where it is or how big or how small it is. Um, as something that looks like, uh, like this should be fine. What you want is the fill to be white or either black. It doesn't really matter and you don't want any stroke. So zero stroke and fill color doesn't really matter because you're going to be changing it in the end. So, so once you've got your rectangle and you're happy with it, you want to go into um, edit and then you want to go copy and then you want to paste it using command V or control V depending on what um, computer you're on. So what you want to do is try to zoom in and just so that you're happy. It doesn't really matter how exact this is because um, you can go back and change it and you can do an art, um, trial and error, see what works best. And once you're happy with it, just paste that trying, paste that uh, rectangle there and that, that should be okay. So what you want to do is repeat this process a couple times. Uh, use the smart uh, dimensions over here, these smart tools. Uh, they help you guide, try to get equal distance, try to make it equal distance from the other rectangles. Uh, what you want to do is you want to do this a couple times. Um, it's, it's completely up to you. You can change the uh, size of the rectangles as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, as soon as you're happy with a couple uh, rectangles, um, maybe we might do one more, see how it goes. So I'm happy with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these rectangles here, uh, right click, and what we are going to do is we are going to merge these layers. So we're going to merge, merge visible, so it becomes one whole big uh, rectangle. So once you're happy with your rectangles, uh, what you what uh, what you want to do is go into Google and find a sunset uh, design that you really like, uh, some of the colors. Um, there's lots to choose from once you go into Google. Uh, you're going to want to download uh, something like this, a design palette. It's, it's called uh, Sunset Design Palette. Um, there's lots to choose from online. And uh, this is the one I really like because uh, they have lots of colors and lots of design variations that you can choose from. What you want to do is just copy it and paste it in your design. Uh, doesn't really matter where it is because you're going to be dele deleting it in the end. So uh, for this um, tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, this uh, this palette over here. So what you want to do is select uh, the color picker over here and just go ahead, select the first color, um, select the bucket tool and just start coloring uh, in, in your shapes. So you do that a couple times and um, definitely uh, if you want to change if you want to change uh, some of the colors, uh, if you want to make it darker or lighter, um, the, the, the sky's the limit. You can basically do 
um, anything with this. So once you've made your palette and you're happy with it, uh, go ahead and uh, delete this over here. Um, unfortunately, I pasted it on the on the first layer, uh, which I shouldn't have done. So I'm going to have to use an eraser tool and rub it out. But um, you can usually just paste it in a new layer and then delete that layer in the end. So now that you're happy with your uh, palette colors, um, go ahead and make a new layer on top. Um, select the circle selection tool. Um, hold down shift to get a perfect uh, circle, otherwise you'll probably end up getting an oval. Try to make the circle... So try to make the circle a little bit bigger than your, um, than your palette size. And we'll just place it somewhere like this. That looks okay. Um, obviously, um, you can use trial and error, um, see what works best for you. Um, at this stage, this is what works best for me. Um, once I've selected and I'm happy with my selection, I right click and I do select inverse. And then I just press, I go into the layer which has all the colors in it. I press delete and we are left with a simple sunset design and I go ahead and deselect it over here. So now this already looks pretty good uh, but what you want is I, I usually like a little bit of texture in my designs so you can go into um, you can go into Google and look for uh, background textures. Um, there's several textures to choose from. This one's really nice. Um, there are several like this to make it look like it's a bit of a vintage retro design. Uh, for our design over here, I have already downloaded a texture that I am happy with. So this one over here. Uh, what you want to do is, is move the lock tool and you want to copy this texture and paste it into your paste it into your design. Uh, usually put in a new layer. Make sure you paste it into the new layer. Don't want to make the mistake I did. Um, doesn't really matter how big it is as long as it covers all of the squares. And once you're happy with it, just press OK. So now in order to remove the extra background texture, what you want to do is go into this tool, go into this layer which has initially your, um, your colors. You want to use the select tool and you want to select everything in that layer. Uh, once you are happy with that selection, go ahead, do a right click, do select inverse and hit delete. And sorry, you want to want to go into um, this layer, layer over here and hit delete. So all of the background that we didn't need has been removed and you can go ahead, right click and deselect. So now you, you're going to want that texture into your colors to make it look like a bit of a vintage design. So what you want to do is select the, color, select the layer with the colors in it and go in, into this section over here. Um, as soon as you scroll over um, these uh, selections, you can see that the texture kind of pops up from the background over here. Um, so this is normal over here, and you can give it a try. So darken looks pretty good. Uh, multiply looks good. Color burn. You can do trial and error, see which one works best for you. Um, over here, you can see there are lots of options to choose from. Um, Definitely not all of them are going to be look are, are going to look good, but there's definitely going to be one or the other that looks good in your design over here. So right now I am happy with the darker color design. 
I think it looks good, gives it a nice texture, and we're just gonna make it, we're just gonna save it as darker color. Um, obviously, um, it's not gonna be the same for, for all of you. So once you're happy with that, um, select both of your um, textures and your color layer. Um, if you are going to resize your, your, your shape, select both of them before you do that and um, there you go you can resize your selection so as you can see this design looks pretty cool um, even just like this without anything in the foreground this design looks pretty cool i'm uh, just going to see how it looks on a t-shirt just to get an idea um, obviously uh, i just pressed command s to save it and it updates onto the smart object onto the t-shirt over here see it looks pretty cool on a t-shirt so obviously the uh, potentials are unlimited. You can add anything in the foreground. Um, usually, uh, most of the things that people do add are usually black in color. So for this example, I'm gonna be adding a simple grass design. Um, it, it's, it's not much, but it's just good for this example. Uh, what you wanna do is copy and paste it into a new uh, layer. Uh, this layer is gonna be on top of all the other layers that you have. Um, that's pretty too big. Uh, make it smaller. Oh, that looks about okay. Yep, that looks good. And you're gonna paste it there. And in order to get this black, uh, this round circular design, uh, what you wanna do is go ahead and uh, make that layer invisible for a second and select this color that we have to inverse selection by clicking right click make this layer visible select that layer and just basically use the rubble tool to take out the access material just like over here so that gives it a nice round look and we go back into the selection tool and we deselect. So there you have it. I'm just gonna show you how it looks on a t-shirt. Um, obviously you can add text on the top and bottom. You can add anything in, in the foreground and you make and you make your design um, according to what niche you're working on. So we just see what this design looks on a t-shirt. So obviously it looks pretty cool. Um, you can change your design uh, based on what niche you're working on. You can add text in the top and all the bottom. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't done so already, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any suggestions or if you want me to do a video on something else. Um, once again, thanks for watching.